Hi, my name is Imran from imstech.co.uk and today I'm going to show you guys how to add CSS to your web pages using Dreamweaver. Now just a little bit of background information. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and styles help define how a H HTML is sort of displayed. Now, the biggest advantage of using CSS is that it allows the developer, the designer of a website control the look and feel of the entire website to make it consistent and that is a, a key word for this tutorial is it, it, the CSS allows a web page to look consistent now we can add CSS to tags we can create classes and we can create I, an ID now those of you who will be familiar with HTML will be aware that you've got different tags like the H1 tag, H2, H3 and so on P, the P tag, the body tag and tags like that we can actually add a style to a particular tag and that's what we're going to be concentrating on this le this tutorial is how to add CSS to a tag now this th just to keep in mind a mental note for the next sort of tutorial to add CSS to a classes we'll have a dot before the name of the class and to add an ID CSS we're using an ID we'd have a hash before the name of the ID now there are two ways of adding CSS first of all this you can add an internal style sheet which would be a style sheet which is embedded within a web page the second way is to add an external style sheet which would be an, ex a, an external sheet style sheet which is linked to the web pages yeah, and we're going to have a look at both of them now to start off with I'm just going to show you guys how to add an internal style sheet so looking at this right here I have got a site which is called my site and it has got two pages it's got the index.html which is the home page and it has got the about us page the about.html page both pages are absolutely blank to start off with I'm going to, I'm going to add a title to this I'm going to cut set the formatting of it to h1 and I'm going to call it home page now it's black it's I think it's bold and it's quite a large font um, the size of the font is quite large now to add CSS to this to the actual tag which is the h to, if I wanted to add CSS to the h1 tag what I need to do is look at this the property panel which is right on the uh, right side of the page and this button which is sort of hidden it says new CSS rule I have to press add new CSS rule and I'm going to add the CSS rule to a tag so this is the this is where I would make a decision on whether I want to create a class an ID or a tag so I'm going to add it to this tag and I've got a list of all the tags I'm going to add it to the H1 tag and right at the bottom here it says rule definition now this is where I make the decision on whether I want to add the CSS style to an external sheet or an internal now if I if I want to create it internally then it's this document only and we'll look at how to add it to a new style sheet later on I press OK and I get this dialog box or this um, properties panel that appears which says CSS rule definition now this is where I make a decision on all the different formatting features and that I want to sort of um, create I'm going to select Arial Black I'm going to give it a font fairly large one and uh, um, add a color let's go with dark blue now I can do other stuff um, underline it, I can add, make it bold and, and so on there's, there's quite a lot of different sort of formatting features I can add a background but because I'm dealing with text and this is basic tutorial I'm just going to keep it very simple so I've added three three sort of um, rules to this style I'm going to press OK now what happens is automatically the home page will become blue and it will become large looking at the code this is the internal style that has been added to this and these are the three features this is the font type is the font size and the color now some of you might be 
wondering is this the best way of doing this well one of the biggest advantages of CSS is to make this the web page look consistent now if I add a title to this page which is again set the formatting to h1 and I type in about the two p the two titles are very different now a way for me to sort of um, keep my style sheet consistent is to add an external style sheet so I'm going to just show you guys how to do this so just to start off with I'm just going to go back and delete everything what I started off previously so now it's as though I've got two titles um, both with h1 tags now again the first thing I need to do to add an internal sorry an external style sheet is to press new CSS rule again this is going to be a tag the h1 has already been selected and I'm going to press new style sheet on this drop down box here right at the bottom so new style sheet and press ok now I'm going to have to give this new style sheet a name I'm going to call it style and press ok now I can give it a font a font size and a color this time I pick red press ok so this h1 tag has now been given a new formatting feature um, and if I go back to the home page some of you might be wondering well why hasn't it sort of added it to the home page the reason being is because I've not linked going back to the t uh, PowerPoint we need to link them I'm going to press the link button styles sorry style.css and press OK and now you can see both h1 tags are identical so I can create multiple website web pages and all the h1 tags will look the same all the body tags could look the same and and just to show you guys the code behind this so this is the style page that I've created um, we created and looking in there you can see it's got the h1 it's got the font it's got the font size and it's got the color so these are the properties um, and looking into the code of this page this is the line of code that will link this particular web page to this style sheet so it says href style.css that's the name of this, this a style sheet that we created so this is just a quick brief summary on how to sort of create a style sheet so I've given you an example of how to create an internal style sheet and also an external style sheet I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll go a little bit deeper into it in the next tutorial um, and this has been Imran from imstech.co.uk